Howdy ho, right here with some more Motorsport Manager. I almost called it Motorstorm Apocalypse. Shit. I should redo that intro. Fudge. Howdy ho, right here, and we are coming to you live with Motorsport Manager, except not really live because you're watching this video at an unknown point in the future. So we finished our second race, which was pretty good, actually. Uh... Claudia pulling through for us, getting better. Luigi, not so much. Going to be looking to replace him, I'm thinking. Ugh. It's rough, rough times. Claudia's making her way up in the rankings here. She could easily get into the top 10, I'd say. And then sky's the limits for her. She'll, she'll probably get promoted up to the primary driver. She's only 17 years old, too, so she has a lot of growth, like, to be had. Unfortunately, I can't really break contract with Luigi just yet, because it's 1.5 million. I mean, I have enough, but... Yeah, needless to say, if I can find a way to get Luigi out of here while not suffering too big of a loss, that would be great. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 18 hours till the cars are fixed up. Yes, all those reports about how we got our asses kicked is great. Alright, Angela, low quality driver. Potential is good though, and given the chance, she can certainly become one of the better drivers. Cornering but she isn't the best at driving smoothly, so that could affect things pretty badly. Um, so... Still searching for viable drivers to take up the mantle, so to say. Looking at some more drivers who... aren't necessarily like blowing the lid off but there's a slow simmer going there I wanted to find somebody who doesn't have too high of stats because too high of stats basically equates to pay me a lot of money or else I'm not working for you Engines and brakes. I'm assuming it's going to be back up around 70 or so, but performance 91, 90. Might go with this. Might go with uh, something that gives me more top speed and more reliability. It's going to cost me a pretty penny, but you don't want to fall behind with the engines. Plus, as we do this, we'll be able to do good components, which will be great. So going for that. Um, is there anything else I wanted to do? I think we're good for now. I don't know, those sponsor sponsorship deals just don't appeal to me right now. And also, I should probably point out the fact that my marketability is primarily based on Luigi. <laughs> from what it looks like. So I kind of have to deal with him. Freaking wonderful. Wonderful. 
Why are you working on... Oh, right. I wanted to work on deceleration and then... Medium speed corners was the thing that it auto-filled. Is there something that could be a bit better to fix up? I'm probably going to give the new engine to uh to Luigi, so... Mm. Nope. Trying to figure out what will get done ASAP. then. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh hey, Luigi's birthday. You are now accredited member of the Global Motorsport Association, it means you'll be called upon to vote on potential rule changes a few times per year. Each rule change can impact a championship in multiple ways. If you choose to abstain from a vote, you'll save up that vote for another time. This allows teams to focus on their own priority rules. Okay, cool. And yeah, why not? Just give me a present. Although I don't know what kind of present costs a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Seriously. Not too happy right now. It costs a shit ton of money. You, on the other hand, hmm. I'm still gonna stick it out with uh still stick it out with Luigi for now. Mostly because it's gonna kill me if I have to break my contract with him and I need to find somebody who would at least accept a cost of 300 k or less. better lead designer actually so depending on what I want to improve on most I should be looking at this so she's really good at fixing up brakes but not suspension suspension is lagging we learned that on the first day Honestly, I would probably... I'd probably lead towards the, uh... What gives us the acceleration. Let's 
so maybe somebody with an adequate gearbox? And how much am I paying for a... Uh, I keep switching over. Uh, 184 to break contract. 37,000 per race. Ugh. Wow. No, that's not happening. Uh. Ooh, you have potential, don't you? Well, I thought you did. So you're pretty much good at most things except brakes and to some degree the rear wings. If I wanted to focus on gearbox though. Let's favorite him for now. I'm not sure if it's a good call to replace Mary just yet. She's doing her job. Oh, I see a politics vote. Goody! This is like the perfect time of the year that I really want to focus on things that involve the letter P and the word politics. Decide whether or not the ERS Roadshow will roll into the US next year. Judging by the circuit layout, the track in Phoenix is likely to be good news for Archer, whose car is likely to perform well. 10 team bosses of the ERS series and the Vosa cast will have a huge impact on the way the next season's championship will play out. So it's possible we could be going to Phoenix, which is good for Archer. Eh, we're in contention with Archer. But if that's next year, then I don't think we have to worry too much, do we? New engine. Is anybody using that engine now, actually? No, they aren't. work on the reliability. Is there anything else that I can add to that actually? Hold on. I keep getting mixed. Uh, there's so many tabs. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. The addition of the Phoenix GP. This is next year. It says rule will benefit teams likely to perform well. I'm in that list actually. There's two supporting three against. I have one voting power. Oh, a lot of straight, straight lines. Hmm. Should I vote for this, or should I abstain and save my voting power? I feel like we can adapt to whatever, so... No, I'm gonna abstain. And the vote was still approved for. Good. I I'm completely okay with that. If it if it supposedly helps me out, and I was still able to maintain one of my votes, all the more power to me. Hmm. 
I'm all for that. An unlikely style icon has emerged from within the garages of the ERS team. I just love the way she dresses. She's so alluring, it sets my teeth on edge. Alright, markability went up by 10. I'm okay with this, although I never took you to be a fashionista type, Claudia. I learn more about people every day. Let's see, Sergio's one of the stronger driver drivers. Potential is good. Good with braking. Issues with adaptability. Predicted end of season position fourth. Kong is average. Huge amount of potential. Could become a real star. Takes well to feedback. But he's not very consistent. You know what? I kinda want I kinda wanna go for it. I kinda wanna go for this guy. If he has really good potential, he costs two hundred thousand. He's part of DRTC, so if I can nab him from them. <laughs> oh no! Darn. I was kind of excited there for a second. I thought I could screw uh I thought I could screw them over by taking their driver. I said Sergio was had potential, so maybe I should go for Ser for Sergio or Sergio. Damn. Uh, what about Luca? Status isn't too important. In that case, I'm going to put him in reserve driver's position, because I can't expect to replace Luigi yet, but I sure as hell can replace my fucking backup driver. Wages aren't very important. In that case, you're getting the lowest possible. Uh, I'll give you a long contract. I'm trying to appeal to this guy. Wow, he's really lowballing. A lot of these things aren't very important to him. Uh, now, just in case, I'm going to add in a little bit of a sign-on fee. see where that goes. He's a club goer, so his marketability goes up, but he burns through a lot of fuel. Guess we'll see. I actually got paranoid that I wasn't recording, and I looked over and saw, stop recording? Wait, did that mean that I stopped my recording? No, dumbass, that means that you can press it to stop the recording, but you're currently recording right now. Durr! Okay, so we are going to continue to Milan. So, 9th, 12th. I almost feel like we can go for this 9th or above one, especially because Claudia's strengths seem to be the straight, like, the straight runs here. And I feel like she has the potential to get ninth place or above. Do I feel like we'll get it for sure? I'm not... Uh, I mean, if anything, we'll miss out on 150k and we won't uh, please the sponsors, if you will. I know for sure I'm not getting second or above, so we're not even going to pretend that's in the equation. Uh, it's not going to wear down the tires as much, it seems, but we will be burning a lot of fuel. It's only 21 laps, actually. Which is, I think, the shortest race that we've had to date, so... Considering that we have small, mediums, intermediates, and, uh, wet... And the fact that they say that the, <clears throat> the weather is going to be clear... We're probably going to be running on softs. I'll probably start with medium and then go into soft. I think... 
we're not going to want to go onto too many pit stops. So I think conserving, conserving our strength in the beginning portion is going to be important. And then for the last push, that's when we really put the pedal to the metal. Oh look, I used the analogy that involved actual cars in a driving game. Yay, I made sense. So, everybody's cars are set up. We're going to go in this now. <laughs> 